Hey everyone, so this is a first date makeup tutorial. Now this doesn't necessarily have to be worn on, you know, a first date. It can be worn to like, I think it's very school appropriate, I think it's very like work appropriate, and it's just very calm and neutral in general, kind of like an everyday look. Um, I think that this kind of complements anyone's skin tones, anyone's natural uh, features and their eyes, and I just hope you enjoy it. Let's just get straight into the tutorial. So I've already applied my um, spot acne treatment, which is just the different gel. Um, I highly recommend that just putting a little um, acne treatment under your makeup. If, if you're like me and you wear a lot of makeup and you have acne, just so that way the treatment gets a chance to kind of work at the acne even while you have makeup on throughout the day. But anyways, so the first thing we're gonna start with is priming your face because for a first date, you're probably not gonna be not gonna be out all night, but you're gonna be out for quite a while. And you're gonna want your makeup to stay on, so I de definitely recommend putting a primer on. And this is a Revlon Beyond Natural Smoothing Primer. And then after that, move on to your concealer. I'm using True Match by L'Oreal, and this is in Fair Light. Oh. Is so just taking your concealer, apply it on any of the desired areas. I'm putting it under my eyes because I have some dark circles. And just on some acne areas. And then just take a concealer brush. And then just blend it all in. Make sure that you try to keep your face looking as natural as possible. So to keep it looking natural, I'm going to take my moisturizer and my foundation. What I'm going to do is open up my foundation real quick. I'm going to squirt a little of my moisturizer onto my hand. And then take some of my foundation and just pour it onto my fingertips with the moisturizer. And then I'm just going to work it all together in my hands. Make sure you do this on clean hands too. And I'm just going to blend this all into my face. This is also a really good method to do if you're in a rush and you're just coming home from work and you're trying to just, you know, get ready really fast. You don't have a lot of time and you don't want to be late for the lucky man or, or woman, depending on your sexual orientation, who's coming to pick you up. So it's really fast, really easy to do, but I would recommend using a just a makeup sponge because you're bound to have some areas that didn't blend in very well. And there's nothing on this right now, but just working it into the skin. Especially up into the forehead and the hairline, nothing bothers me more than when a foundation line is not blended or a bronzer line. If you follow me on um, Tumblr, you'll know I did a, a makeup survey today and that, and it said like, what's your number one pet peeve? And I said, or like makeup, like crime or whatever. And I said, unblended foundation. Ugh, it bugs me because there's just like that line that's there. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Got to blend that. <laughs> Needs to get all blended in for sure. Now at this point you can powder your face, but I'm choosing not to just because I figure if you blend foundation properly, it can look very natural and putting powder on can kind of take away from all the work you did to make it look natural. But sometimes if you don't use foundation, you just use powder then that looks more natural too. But I feel like combining the two, you're taking a chance on making it look not natural. But sometimes if you're like really good at it and you can make it just look flawless, then it will. But yeah, I'm just opting not to, but you definitely could. And if you are someone who you want to look natural, but you feel like your face will get shiny, just powder like the T-zone here, because that's definitely the part of the face that gets to get shiny most often. So you can just dust it all over there and then hopefully it'll decrease the shine. But at this point, we're going to move on to the eyes. So as always, prime your eyes with an eye primer. <laughs> To make sure that your eyeshadows stay on all night long or however long you're on the date <laughs> but we're not going to be using too many um, eyeshadows they're actually only using three which is like crazy 
Normally I use a lot more than three, like four or five, but it'll be very simple, very light, and very natural. I always feel like I look strange when I just have um, eye primer on and I haven't put anything over it. My eyes look a little too neutralized, you know, that doesn't look natural, but whatever. <laughs> so moving on to eyeshadows. Going to my BH Cosmetics palette. And I know I've used this eyeshadow that I'm using. I've used it a lot, I feel like, recently. Maybe just in my, just, you know, in my day to day doing my makeup, but I feel like in tutorials too, I've been using it a lot. But it's this light kind of tan champagne color. So I was trying to like turn my finger around, but that doesn't work out. It's very, very light, very calm, very neutral. So I'm gonna take that color on an eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna place it all over my lid. Probably zoom in, probably be a good idea. So now this brown shade that I'm using, I know that I've used it a lot, but I feel like it'll be very good for this look. So it's this brown right here. So I'm going to be taking that brown color on a crease brush like this one. Now I normally use this one and I'm going to use this later, but right now I'm going to start off with this one. And this is kind of like a pencil brush, but I'm going to use it and it's going to dry a dry it's going to draw a very defined line but after we do that then we're going to go in with this brush and blend it out and it'll look very neutral and very calm and subtle but at first it's going to look kind of scary but don't worry So now I'm going to go in with this crease or blending brush and there's no product on this and I'm just going to blend it all out. So the last eyeshadow I'm going to use is Champagne Fizz by Maybelline New York. It's kind of a fleshy skin tone color. I'm just taking this on an eyeshadow brush and just using it as my highlight. I know it's crazy, this is because only three eyeshadows, but you know, like I said, it's supposed to be very calm and very natural. And then just fill in your brows as usual. I'm using um, the Too Faced uh, Brownie Eyebrow Pencil. This <laughs> looks like this. And I, I normally use um, the Sephora Eyebrow Pencil in gold, but today I wanted to, to do my brows a little bit darker. So now I'm going to be using a brown eyeliner, and for this look, I would recommend not using a black eyeliner because that can tend to close up your eyes a bit, but if you're someone who black eyeliner is just a must, you cannot live without it, it is just, you have to have it, go ahead and put it on, but I am recommending using a brown eyeliner. And then I would to use a white or peach eyeliner on your waterline, but I don't own one. Um, and I'm shocked that I don't. I really need to get on that and get one, but I'm just going to be taking this and just lining very thinly on my upper lash line. And then just go ahead and curl your lashes and apply mascara. I decided to use the Great Lash Lots of Lashes. Okay, honestly, just because I had a little heart in it and this was like a date night look and it sounds kind of stupid now saying it out loud, but whatever. <laughs>
So now I'm using a cream blush. This is by Maybelline New York, and it's their Dream Mousse Blush in number 25, Rose Petal. Looks like this. And I'm just going to be taking some of this. this looks, I'm using this because it'll stay on a lot longer and just give you a really nice natural flush. I'm just going to be taking this and just working it onto my cheeks. Now I'm just highlighting my face with some of my Moonbeam by Benefit. I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones. Just give a really nice little glow. And then I'm also going to take this just down my nose. So last but not least, I'm going to move on to lips. And on a first date, unless you've um, been dating the person for a while and it's like, this is, you guys have had the labels of boyfriend, girlfriend, or girlfriend, girlfriend, or boyfriend, boyfriend, once again, depending on your sexual orientation. Um, once you've had the labels for a while, but let's say you guys haven't actually like gone out somewhere like to eat or a movie or whatever on a date, but you've kissed before that then yeah you'll probably end up kissing on the date too just you know goodbye or hello or whatever and that's fine and everything but if you haven't been for a while and you just kind of met them and they were like hey let's get together let's go out let's get together let's go out on a date and you're like oh okay they may kiss kiss you on the first date but I don't know I just feel like in my opinion that's a bit too soon if it's you haven't known each other before that it's just kind of getting to know each other if they're I don't know I just like they probably won't but just in case there is some kissing on the first date, you're not going to want to wear a lip gloss or a lipstick that is very just, what's it like, it has like a thick um, tendency and has, you know, it's just very thick and goopy and glossy. And although that may be fine to wear just when you're not planning on kissing anyone, um, you don't want to get that on the other person's face. I'm pretty sure they won't appreciate that either. So you're going to want to use something that gives you a little bit of color, but doesn't necessarily have a lot to it to make it just go all over the other person. So I'm using um, CoverGirl's Nature Luxe uh, Lip Balm, and this is in number 205 Tulip. And this is really nice because it has just a really nice sheen, but it's not very, like, goopy and gets all, you know, could get all over the other person. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lip. So now the look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, good luck on the first day. I hope it goes well, and I will see you all next time. Bye.